All right, so I just wanted to send a quick little video update on Buddy. Um, he's doing really great. Uh, he has really, really nice food drive. So that's been super beneficial. He's got really nice engagement. So those are things that I'm gonna just play with lightly since he's already naturally has that. Um, obviously he's very high energy. So some things that we're gonna be working on on one end of the spectrum is I want to teach him how to do a little bit of interactive play with toys and things like that. I think that's gonna be something that's really beneficial down the road uh, when he needs fulfillment and enrichment, teaching him ways to be interactive with you so that you can um, have a relationship where you can play with him and, and have that nice outlet in a way that's good for your relationship. And then on the other side, which is mostly what I'm doing right now, is teaching him how to slow down a little, be a little bit calmer and building up duration. So um, I've been working on establishing different markers. We have the clicker, we have the words good, yes, okay, and then no, which I'm not doing too much right now. A marker is just a word or a sound that marks the moment in time that I like something. So for him, it's going to announce the arrival of food. So prior to this, he doesn't know what that, those sounds mean. So all I'm doing is presenting the sounds and then following it with the presentation of food. So that way they're, that turns into an association together. And then when he hears the sound or the key or the marker, he, uh, that marker takes on the good feeling of, of food. So I'll use it to shape behaviors, build duration, um, create clarity through showing him an expectation of what I'm expecting. So if that makes sense. Um, so again, here he has really great food drive and he threw that He's offering awesome engagement, even in a little bit distracting situation. So for me right now, I want to spend a little bit more time building up that duration in each behavior and having him slow down and think things through and not be quite so impulsive. So I'm using the, the word good more often than anything else. Um, the clicker is something that I use to build enthusiasm. It's right away, come get your reinforcement as soon as you hear that sound. Yes, it's the same thing. Yes is the verbal version, if you will, of the clicker. Whereas good is gonna be something that I use to build that duration. So I will lure him into the behavior that I want. I'll say the word good, bring him food, and then just re repeat that as I want him to be in the behavior. Um, depending on the dog, that frequency will change. So for him, he's pretty good about just waiting for the food, um, if, especially in the, the behaviors that are stationary. So some dogs you have to like, you fling food at them to keep that frequency going or they'll break out of behavior and lose interest. So um, luckily he's pretty good about just hanging out and waiting for that food. And then okay is gonna be your dump behavior you can come out. Right now, good and okay, he's getting food for everything. Um, just to teach him what those words mean and to create that association. Down the road, those will be more neutral things. So good will just be, hey, I like that if you're doing that, okay will mean that you can come out of behavior. And then once he's uh, more aware of what each behavior is, and once I start putting verbal commands onto behaviors, I'll start teaching the word no through leash pressure and telling him that he needs to stay in behavior or he needs to go into behavior if he doesn't want to. But because he doesn't really actually know what I'm asking yet, I'm not gonna spend too much time on the word no other than just kind of interrupting kind of sort of thing. So um, I'm just gonna do a differentiation on his place, which is something that I really use with a lot of dogs to to build up impulse control and duration and things like that. When he's on his place, he can do whatever he wants to. So right now I'm just getting him the habit of going onto it and then keeping him on there. And right now, again, it's just me feeding him. Eventually it's gonna be, be me kind of moving around, creating neutrality in my movements because I want him to stay on there regardless of where I go and what I do around him, but we have to be just up, up to that, that point. So I'm going to lure him onto it. And then when he's on it, I will say the word good, good, and then reach in and grab some treats, good. And because we've already done this, okay. Um, he already has a pretty good picture. Initially, when I was first teaching it, I would lure him on and as soon as he touched it, I would click and let him run back and get the food for me. But he already knows what that means now, so now I'm just kind of having him follow, good. And because good, because he's done this a couple of times, I'm starting to kind of add in those movements. Good. Just, again, just to neutralize my movement and show him that good. Regardless of what I'm doing around him, he has to remain on there. So steps like that. 
It's okay if he moves as long as he doesn't get up. Good. Good. Okay. If he does run off, I'll just throw out that word okay just to kind of pair that word to that him coming out of behavior. Um, everyone always asks, good. Okay. What their homework for the week is. Um, right now, I'm going to say don't really worry about it. Um, I haven't spent, and this is Thursday, so I don't know if I'm going to get this to you tonight or tomorrow on Friday. Um, probably tomorrow I'll start sprinkling in some verbal commands. I don't like to put those out there too soon. <laughs> Good. I want to make sure that the dog actually is, you know, I want to make sure he's showing the behaviors pretty cons consistently before, okay, before I um, pair a word to it just to avoid disassociation. I don't want him to think that the picture that I'm looking for is something different. It becomes other behavior too soon or whatever. So um, the luxury that I have is when we're working together, I'm fully committed to rewarding things at the right moment and keeping those those rewards coming to build value in the behavior. Whereas at home, those might be a little bit of missed opportunities. So I don't like to send dogs home too soon with, let's start practicing these commands because I want to make sure that that reinforcement history is, is is pretty continuous right now and it's a little bit harder to do at home naturally so um, for this week it's just going to be him having fun and figuring things out don't worry about homework just continue to do everything the same at home if you he does something that you really like reward it make it a big deal if he does something that you don't like he's not really ready for corrections unless it's something that is you know we don't want we don't want him to be in a dangerous situation so for that it's just going to be like a clap or just move him out of the way all right He's a good boy.